Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to swap different cryptocurrencies for each other and export that cryptocurrency or withdraw it into your bank account or a PayPal account. This video is intended for all beginners in the space, and I know a lot of new people are joining the crypto and NFT world, and this video is going to help a ton down the line. I'm going to make this as noob friendly as possible because i understand that the people watching this video probably won't be my returning subscribers but a bunch of new people to the space so i'll be using easy words and trying to make everything as not complicated as possible now before we do get into everything this video is actually sponsored by juicy fruits nft it's an awesome nft project with some sweet 3d art of different fruits with different facial features and a whole bunch of accessories you can check out the art on their instagram Instagram page as well as Twitter and the art in this NFT project is awesome. So if NFTs are your thing and you like really cool art, definitely go check out Juicy Fruit. They have a lot of engagement on their Twitter and you can maybe even win some whitelist roles in their giveaways. That will all be linked in the description. Back to the tutorial already. So if you clicked on this video, I'm already assuming that you own a MetaMask wallet, but you don't really know how to swap your cryptocurrencies or maybe you do know how to swap, but you don't know how to turn those cryptocurrencies into real money that you see in your bank account or on PayPal. It's actually so easy to do, but just like you guys a year ago, I had no idea how to do it, and that's why I'm teaching you today. So let's first start with how to swap different cryptocurrencies for each other. It's really easy to do in the MetaMask wallet. There's a massive button that says swap, and you just click that, and then you select the coin that you'd like to swap with. I'm going to choose this Wall Street Games coin. If I'm being honest, I have no idea how I even got this Wall Street Games coin. I believe I might have done a sponsorship with a company, and it must have fell through the company and they foreclosed and I never even made the video but I still got the Wall Street coin which I guess is a plus. That's a little backstory on that. But bam, I'm going to be selling all of this token just because I don't have any need for it and I want to show you in this tutorial. I'm going to choose USDC which is the stable coin for Coinbase and you can actually verify that it's the legitimate coin by clicking this address right here. And it'll bring you to the BSC scan where you can verify, hey, this is a legitimate coin that I want to be trading. Alrighty, another thing I wanted to discuss is the slippage tolerance. Now, if you're really new to crypto, it's going to be kind of hard to explain, but the best way I can say it that although right now I'm swapping for $365, that price could change while the transaction is going on. And if you're trading really volatile coins, it's very important to set a nice slippage tolerance, cancel the transaction just in case because you could get screwed over. So basically when I'm selecting 3%, I'm saying that I'm okay with the transaction going through as long as the coin doesn't drop more than three percent hopefully that's not too confusing for you guys and i explained it in the best way possible so we're gonna hit review swap and as you can see the gas fees they're changing it just changed right there it went from 82 cents to 87 cents now there are some other fees including in swapping like this metamask fee so these are important to keep in mind we're gonna hit swap so the timer doesn't run out and bam that USTC has now been added to our account and we can verify that in our assets right here the next thing you want to do is go to coinbase and if you don't have an account on coinbase already I'll have a link down in the description and if you use that link you will get a free $12 Canadian I believe it's $10 American in Bitcoin so hey you might as well do it because it's like free money it also helps me out in return so if you could use that link it would mean a ton alrighty so once you're on your coinbase account you just want to go to settings and then go to payment methods here is where you're going to add your bank account or your PayPal account now it is important to note that PayPal is only for withdrawals so if you do want to purchase any cryptocurrency using coinbase you can't do that via paypal now i'm going to click the paypal option and type in my information and log in it may ask you for a verification code if you have 2fa set up 
So I'm just going to enter that in and bam, now my PayPal is linked and I'm good to alrighty. So the next thing you want to do is go to send slash receive in the top right corner of your screen on Coinbase and go to receive. Then you just want to click this arrow here and it will bring up all of the different assets. In this selection, you're going to find the cryptocurrency that you want to withdraw. So for this example, I'm going to be using USDT. Alrighty. So I was just informed that you actually can't sell USDT on Coinbase in Canada only. So that's just fantastic. So we're going to restart this whole process, but we're going to use Ethereum this time. So once again, go to send slash receive then go to receive, find Ethereum, and then copy that address. We're going to open up MetaMask, go to send, paste the address in, select the amount of ETH we want, hit next. Then we got a $2 gas fee, which isn't bad and hit confirm and bam our transaction is confirmed now you may notice that the money isn't in your account on coinbase right away not to worry you should get an email from coinbase that looks something like this and if you do that means the transaction was successful for whatever reason coinbase can take a little bit to load your asset in Alrighty, so once the ethereum is in your account you can view it in the your assets section next thing you want to do is go to the sell button at the top here and hit sell and then you want to find the cryptocurrency in this case it's going to be ethereum for us and i'm just going to type in 500 because that's how much i want to sell off and then you can select where you want to sell it to mine is just going to be paypal and you can hit preview sell and this will showcase the price of ethereum in which you're selling at and as you can see it actually just went down from when i'm recording this video it's constantly changing but there's also a five dollar coinbase fee which you will have to pay so i highly suggest not doing this with small payments i highly suggest just doing it with a large payment at once so we're gonna hit sell now and bam we just sold off all of that ethereum which is 500 dollars canadian now if you log into your paypal account you will see that you got a payment from cb which is coinbase and it's for the payment of 495 because we had that five dollar taken off in the fee and bam from paypal you can play around your money in paypal or you can choose to send it to your bank or do whatever so yeah guys that's going to conclude this video on how to transfer money in metamask to your coinbase in which you can withdraw into your bank account or to paypal if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and i will try to answer them with that being said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace see you later thank you for watching the video and don't forget to remember thank you for watching the video and if you're a fan subscribe if you can keep down